Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. We are joining from the Mobile World Congress 2024 in Barcelona. Now I'm delighted to be joined by Patrick Ribardier, Senior Director, Product Marketing at Qualcomm. Hi, Patrick, thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you for coming over. Welcome, welcome to Qualcomm. Thank you. So we are at one of the original connectivity shows, but this year we even saw announcements coming out of CES recently related to Wi-Fi 7. How significant is this and what can we expect to see in the next 12 months? Right, so Wi-Fi 7 is a reality. The question is not if Wi-Fi 7 will happen, it is when Wi-Fi 7 will happen. And Wi-Fi 7 is happening already now. We have had customer shipping for a while now, our solution are in mass production. Uh, Wi-Fi 7 is a reality and everybody wants it. It is one of the big highlights of the show. So how will the Wi-Fi 7 era revolutionize the enterprise home connectivity and gaming, for example? Wi-Fi 7 is truly revolutionary uh, in terms of new generation of Wi-Fi. Uh, it brings a couple of features, three very important features to the, uh, to the ecosystem that will really make a difference. Uh, the first one being the full use of 6 gigahertz. We know with channels up to 320 megahertz. Um, that will give you um, a much higher speed um, and um, we will translate in lower latency. The second feature is MLO, multi-link optimization. Multi-link optimization is actually the capability to use any of the three channels of Wi-Fi, 2.4, 5, or 6 gigahertz, uh, in the best possible way. Meaning, um, uh, at the time where you need to send your packet, you're going to decide, OK, which channel should be the best for me to send that packet. Is it the 2.4 gigahertz? Is it the 5 gigahertz? Is it the 6 gigahertz? You know, in this particular case, maybe it's the 6 gigahertz. So I'm going to send it over the 6 gigahertz link. Now the next packet comes and there is something happening on the 6 gigahertz band. So oh, maybe 5 gigahertz is the best link for me now. So then I'm going to use the 5 gigahertz to send my next packet and so on and so forth. What it does is if anything happens in your home or let's say you know one of your neighbors starts downloading a movie, right? And this neighbor uses the same Wi-Fi channel as the one you are using today, right? If you don't have MLO, it's going to translate into you having to wait for him to download his movie or part of his movie in order for you to send your information to your device. With MLO, you detect that there is now this interference, that there is this nosy neighbor that is, you know, downloading a movie, and you're going to send it onto the 6 gigahertz band, for example, or another, you know, or another band that you, you know, the one that is the, the most um, uh, interesting. The third feature of Wi-Fi 7, which is also very interesting, is called adaptive puncturing. What adaptive puncturing allows you to do is to carve out a little bit of the Wi-Fi spectrum um, when there is a perturbation. So let's say that, um, you know, same, same scenario, right? You're on a, you're on a um, I don't know, you're on a video call, and at one point, there is an interference that comes right at the time where, you know, you're, you're talking or you're, um, 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 you know, like in the middle of an interaction. Um, traditionally, what Wi-Fi would do is it would detect that there is an interference and it would say, oops, I need to change channel. I'm going to stop everything and I'm going to move to another channel. With interference puncturing, what you do is instead you, you carve out in your uh, frequency a little a little opening where your interference is, but you keep using the rest, meaning you have no interruption, you have no delay, and you know you can keep going on your Wi-Fi call. The Fast Connect 7900 is one of the announcements you made this year, enabling Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and ultra wideband technologies on a single chip. Um, how this can enable high performance, low latency, and low power connectivity? Yes. So um, <coughs> this device is our second generation of Wi-Fi mobile chipset, okay? And it, uh, it is AI ready. So it introduces AI into the Wi-Fi world. We are the first, uh, the first one to do that, I believe, or at least we are leading the market. And um, um, uh, thanks to AI, it will allow you to optimize um, your latency or your uh, power, you know, depending on the condition that the device sees on, the, on, on, on its network at um, you know, any given time. So we believe that will uh, translate into uh, significant power savings you know, on the device and also much better latency, much better 
user experience for the consumer. And can you tell us about the 10G Fiber Gateway platform? Yes, but before we move to the 10G Fiber Gateway, uh, the, um, this device, the 7900, FastConnect 7900, has several other features that are worth, um, you know, that are interesting to note, right? Um, this device introduces ultra wideband together with Bluetooth, together with Wi Fi. You know, why is it important? With ultra wideband, you can now have uh, secure keys. Um, you know, from, from your Wi-Fi device. You get closer to your laptop, for example, your phone is going to be able to tell your laptop, hey, it's me, now unlock. No need for password, right? Just by doing this. Also, um, uh, with the use of those three technologies together, we can do now ranging. So, for example, you've lost your earbud. Not the earbud case, but the earbud, right, somewhere. You're going to start looking for it with Wi-Fi, you're going to get closer with Bluetooth, and then you're going to finally get it with ultra wide band. Ultra wide band will give you the exact positioning that is, um, you know, that you need to find uh, for your device. Um, so that's that's another very very interesting feature we believe. The third feature is called HBS, high band simultaneous. Right now, if you position yourself with your devices, up to now. Your phone was just a client device, meaning it was receiving information. But more and more, your phone also send information to other devices, right? And um, uh, with regular device up to now, um, you would have to use one band of Wi-Fi to receive the information. And typically, that would be your high frequency band, the band that is faster. And you were left with the low band, the 2.4 gigahertz, to then transmit to the other device. With HBS, you can use 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz, which are two very high speed bands, in order to not lose anything in the transmission and keep you know, the fastest possible speed and the lowest possible latency. So those three features are very, very important. We believe that it really helps um, you know, create a next generation of product. And can you tell us more about the 10G Fiber Gateway platform? Yes, 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 yes. So Qualcomm is... Um, a leader in uh, wireless, right? What we realize also is uh, that um, the broadband world has also moved from technology, older technologies like DSL to fiber technologies, which are also very high speed and very fast throughput technologies. It was natural for Qualcomm, who is offering the Wi-Fi solution, which is offering the CPU solution, you know, that manage the Wi-Fi and the 5G, to also add fiber. So we uh, invested in a 10G uh, XGS phone solution, uh, which we announced last September. Uh, we now have um, devices uh, in development. We anticipate product on the market very, very soon. It is being a, a huge success for us. Uh, customers have been very, very happy uh, with Qualcomm jumping in, you know, focusing on newer technologies uh, and uh, reinforcing our uh, cellular arm with now a broadband uh, fiber arm. E from the UK has announced earlier this year that they have partnered with Qualcomm on the development of their Wi-Fi 7 home broadband smart hub. And also last month, Free in France rolled out the Wi-Fi 7 Freebox Ultra to their subscribers. Would you say Wi-Fi 7 has become the go-to technology for broadband service providers in Europe? And what does that change for their clients? Definitely, it is, uh, it is a technology that all carriers are adopting today. Each and every carrier we are talking to is either developing, launching, or you know, uh, in the early stages of development of their new gateway on Wi-Fi 7. Wi-Fi 7 is going to bring lower latency, higher speed, more flexibility, the capability to manage all the devices in your home in a much more efficient way. So Wi-Fi 7 is definitely the way to go, and it's, uh, it's being um, um, acknowledged and, uh, and implemented by the service provider as we speak. Yes. Patrick, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you so much, Yana. Appreciate it.